If you want to know how to optimize the headphone experience of your Dolby Atmos Mix, you are on the right spot. Hello everybody, I'm Thomas from Fiedler Audio and this video is part of a series of mixing tips for getting you started with producing in Dolby Atmos in your favorite DAW. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news tips and tricks. Today we will have a quick look at the binaural settings in Dolby Atmos, what they do, how you can use them to optimize the headphone experience of your Atmos mix and why they should be an essential part of your mixing decisions. Let's dive in. Here we have our session with just the Dolby Atmos composer on the master channel, one audio track containing vocals and the Dolby Atmos beam to send these vocals to the composer. The vocals are panned slightly to the left in beam and configured as dynamic objects. This is necessary so that we can set the binaural configuration for the vocals without affecting anything else. Currently the binaural mode is set to off, so we listen to the vocals without any binauralization from the Atmos renderer. In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... Now let's switch the binaural mode to near. In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... Now to mid. In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... And now to far. In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... As you can hear in the different modes, we have different amounts of room added to the vocals to create the feeling of distance. Now let's switch back to off and automate the position of the vocals. In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... Who have we become? Who have we become? Who have we become? Let's play back the automated part and switch through the different binaural modes. In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... Who have we become? Who have we become? Who have we become? In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... Who have we become? Who have we become? Who have we become? In this war of roses, I just play the pawn, and when you think to yourself... Who have we become? Who have we become? Who have we become? As you can hear, the further away the source is, the better the perception of direction and the spatial impression becomes. Adjusting the binaural settings across the different channels in Atmos is essential as most people listen to Atmos on headphones and you want them to have the best possible experience of your mix. Now you might ask, why should you add some room to your sources by adjusting these binaural settings and the answer is very simple. When you listen on speakers, you have a natural room around you. So you never actually listen to your mix totally dry, like when you listen on headphones. This is also the reason why stereo mixes, which are done on and for speakers, usually sound flat on headphones with the vocals inside your head. For a really good headphone experience, we of course don't want that. So we need to give our mix the missing acoustic experience. And by being able to adjust the amount of these acoustics for each channel, you can fine-tune the headphone experience compared to just having one room on everything. Unfortunately, Apple Music, with their spatial audio in the current version, ignores the binaural settings. They are basically ignoring an important part of the mixing decisions of the producer, which usually results in a less than optimal listening experience. But let's hope they will change that in the future. Amazon Music and Tidal, on the other hand, use your binaural settings. Let us know what you think about this mixing tip in the comments below. 
And also please let us know if you have any specific question or suggestion about mixing in Atmos which you would like to see a good explanation video about. And that's it for this video. We hope it's been helpful. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.